Hey, what's up guys, John here. So today I wanna to show you, uh, I got a Diablo Sport tuner for my truck. Uh, it fits a lot of Dodge vehicles, but I'm using this on my 2014 Dodge Ram 1500 Hemi. So I'm gonna show you guys how easy it is to connect that, change the tune, um, upload a tune, all that stuff. So just a quick video on how easy it is to use. Right now I'm on an 87 octane tune, and I'm gonna go for the 91 octane tune, so it'll give me a bit more power. Um, these are just the canned tunes, but you can get custom tunes. But for now, I just put a 91 octane in my tank. So I wanna try out that 91 tune. And also we're gonna be doing a few more things that'll show in another video, but gonna be doing an exhaust, uh, HIDs, a uh, bunch of different stuff. I already have a k and intake on there. So let's go ahead and load that tune and I'll show you guys how. Okay, so this is the tuner. Basically you can see it's an I2. Um, some people have the Trinity, the one that actually sits on your dash, but this one's just, um, it's really small. It kind of looks like an iPod or something like that, old school iPod, but it's actually uh, a lot smaller than that. It's probably about half the size. So anyways, you get that. It has actually, ironically, an iPod connector on it. If you guys have had an iPod in the past, you'll recognize this connector. And then on the end of that is the OBD2 connection. So let's go ahead and plug that in. under here line it up plug it in like so and then you'll see this thing power up like this so I'm just going to close the door so we don't have to deal with that dinging noise okay so this is it just loading up actually get this plastic off here it's a new unit but you guys will be able to see the screen better without the plastic I'm sure okay so it's gonna say this please wait icon and it's gonna give you this prompt you know do you agree to change things that yada, yada you say yes so basically you're gonna have these three options tune vehicle scan tool and settings you're gonna hit tune vehicle gonna say turn the ignition to the run position so turn that to run so now it's run it says don't start the engine though continue and you can do easy tune and advanced tune I'm gonna do advanced tune because I want to change the throttle input uh, so tune select install standard tune because we don't have custom tunes that's where those would show up so right now you can see the 87 tune has an asterisk next to it so basically that's saying that this is the tune that's currently in it um, I'm gonna click and then these are the options you know miles per gallon uh, booster tune modify your stock tune yada yada or you can have Diablo Sport towing tune um, so I'm gonna use 91 octane tune saying do you want to use this tune we're gonna say yes oh and then since I actually changed my throttle input on the previous one, it's asking me if I want to keep those settings. So, sorry, I'm trying to play with the sunlight here so you guys can see it. Um, yeah, so previous tune contained modified parameters. Do you want to reset those parameters? We're going to say no because I have a 20% um, throttle boost. So on the actual uh, gas pedal, um, it reduced the throw of the gas pedal by 20%. So it made it actually a lot more sensitive and less lazy. So do I want to reset those parameters? I'm going to say no. So now if I go to apply tune, it's gonna be loading the tune into the truck. So, I mean, I wouldn't say this thing takes a long time, but it doesn't, uh, it's not short either. I mean, this whole process probably takes a few minutes, I would say. So, I mean, it's something that you can do without too much worry um, if you're in a hurry. But yeah, this is how long it takes. I haven't sped the view, the video up yet. I don't know if I want to, but we'll see if we can just. Oh, there it goes. So you'll see your truck or car or whatever start making all these beeping noises too. Park sends off while it writes the tune. So basically, you can see it says it's writing the tune now. So. This is about how long it takes, and it basically just fills out this uh, devil's head here um, as it goes. So I think overall it should take, I want to say three minutes to do this. Um, and 
I guess. In the meantime, we can talk about my impressions. So, um, as far as what I think about the tuner, um, so far, I mean, I got this tuner for fairly cheap. I want to say relatively cheap. I got it for a hundred, hundred and sixty dollars shipped, which is kind of ridiculous because this thing is like four hundred dollars or five hundred dollars new. So somewhere around there, I'm sure you get a deal on it. But um, I got it off a guy for one hundred sixty bucks off eBay. So I'm more than happy with the performance that it's given me for that amount of money. Um, but I mean, everything that I've done to the truck is kind of laughable too. So I mean, even the intake, uh, I got a K N intake for free. Um, I got it amongst some other parts that I was buying at the time. Um, so this thing was $160. Uh, I got the E-Fan, electronic fan, for $40 for the truck. And then uh, I just picked up a Carvin Progressive Muffler, a bolt-in direct fit one that um, you guys should check back on that install video and review. So I got that thing for 100 and 160 or 180 shipped. So I've just been basically modding the truck for on a budget just I don't know, it's kind of like a little challenge to me just to see how, how much I can mod the truck for cheap. So, anyways, this thing, it says, please turn off your ignition and do not start the engine. So, we're going to turn it off. Then we're going to hit continue. And then it says, turn it back to run. And then once you do that, hit continue. Wants us to turn it off again, so <laughs> it's a little bit of a circus here with this thing, but it's what it wants to do. Turn it off, and then turn it on, but don't start it. One more time to run, continue. Exporting file, last tune PCM. Tune complete. You may unplug the tool and enjoy your driving your vehicle, blah, 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 blah. Continue. So let's reboot it for a sec. I just want to show you guys that setting that I do um, for the throttle input. I just want to make sure that that took because it makes the truck a lot more enjoyable to drive. The gas pedal is not as lazy because um, I find the gas pedal in these trucks very, very uh, lazy or non-responsive factory. So let's go back into this thing. Um, you can also change your electronic fan setting, which is kind of crucial for me because um, since I changed the uh, fan to electric fan, I don't have the mechanical fan, you do want to change that setting. So um, I'm going to put a thermostat in this thing soon. Um, so probably put a 180 degree thermostat in it. Right now it has a two, 205 thermostat, 205 degrees Fahrenheit. So that's a factory one, but uh, runs a little bit hotter. But now that I have this tuner, I can actually... Uh, run that one 180 degree tune without any uh, check engine lights and then get a custom tune eventually so this is that same prompt that it gives you it's just their disclaimer so if you go back to tune vehicle it's asking you to run position we already have it there continue and then if we go to advanced tune quick adjust no, that's not where it is. Hold on a second. Yeah, this is just for tire size and traction control, which you can turn off, of course. So you want to do tune select, install standard tune, 91 octane tune. Um, you select a tune, you say yes. And this is where you go into modify parameters. So if you go modify parameters, um, it said that it was going to keep it. You can turn, so this is the AC fans, when you turn them on, turn them off, all that stuff. Um, you can adjust your idle, you can turn off the MDS, which is basically that eco mode. And then anything that you've changed, there, you'll see an asterisk next to it. So if we go in here, the throttle booster, which is what I was talking about, it's set at 20%, which is the limit. It's the highest you can set it for this thing. So um, it did take. So that's pretty much it. Um, now we can actually go ahead, put our foot on the brake, and start this thing. <coughs> so now I'm on the 91 octane tune, and we're all set. So, I mean, it's not really, I mean, I could sit there and go and floor it and show you guys that, but it's not really gonna be any comparison. So, I mean, it's, I don't know how you guys are gonna tell if it's faster just from flooring it. So, uh, my opinion is it doesn't make a difference. So, um, but I mean, whether it's worth $400, uh, I mean, that's, that's up to you guys to decide. So, 
Um, check out the other videos. Um, some of the ones that you actually see the difference is the intake video. So uh, check that, and then the exhaust video where you can actually you know see and hear the difference. So um, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Uh, thanks for watching. Subscribe for more videos, and we'll see you in the next one. Take care.